Hey guys. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Seer matchups. If you get a service call and the customer has 10 or 11 Seer equipment, both evaporator and condenser, and let's just say you have a bad compressor or a real bad leak on your condenser coal, and the customer doesn't quite have the money to replace the whole, you know, the evaporator coal and the condenser with some 410A stuff. Is it worth putting in a dry charge 13 or now with the minimum 14 sear condenser? I get a little confused watching some of these guys at YouTube, I'm not going to mention any names, and only because from, from what I was told, if you match a 13 seer condenser with a 10 or 11 seer evaporator coil, let's just say you have a piston as your meter device, because the condenser has a higher sear rating, the condenser coal is going to be significantly bigger than the 10 sear coal. Thus, having more refrigerant circulating through that coal going back to your evaporator. Because you're moving more refrigerant, you're going to chance flooding that evaporator coal and possibly having liquid going to the compressor. Uh, typically the, the normal operating pressures on that type of matchup you're gonna see is high suction pressure and slightly high head pressure, low superheat. Now I do know if you install an expansion valve to that 10 sear coil, it will help some as far as bring the superheat down, uh, up rather, and avoid any type of uh, uh, liquid entering the compressor because that's what an expansion valve does. However, once that valve starts to close off refrigerant, to, avoid, to try to keep that and maintain that good superheat, your head pressure starts to go up. Now you're talking about high head issues, and if you have a high safety switch, nuisance trips, especially on a real hot day, high lows. Um, And the same, well not the same, but you know, you have other issues when the situation is reversed, when you are replacing a 13 sear, a 10 sear evaporator coal with a 13 or 14 sear evaporator coal and keeping the 10 sear condenser. I would imagine because the evaporator coal is now larger because of the higher sear rating, you can have I would imagine low head pressure, maybe low suction pressure, which will drop your coal temperature, possible icing up of the coal, freezing up of the coal. Just a thought, I mean, just brainstorming here. And I get confused, like I said, you know, with, um, Different guys I see on YouTube, you know, they'll, they'll come across a compressor issue and they'll put in a, 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 a 13 sear condenser matched with an old 10 or 11 sear evaporator. And, and it, I don't know if it's wrong or not. I'm not accusing them. I'm not saying they're doing bad work or whatever. But I, I, it just kind of confuses me because I, I thought you would have. I mean, obviously, mechanically, the systems will, 
will work, but I thought you would have some issues with performance. Uh, BTU issues, as well as latent definitely a lot of videos replacing evaporator poles like they get a you know an old I don't know 20 year old system 15 year old system R22 1011 sear so coals leaking like a sieve and they replace the evaporator coal with a new coal which the minimum prior to this year was 13 sear so they couldn't it's not like they could pick up another 10 or 11 or even 12 sear evaporator they had to pick up a 13 sear now you got a 13 sear evaporator matched with a, a 10 sear condenser. It's kind of it's just a little confusing to me, especially from what I've been told. Um, I typically always recommend, you know, if they got a compressor issue or a real bad leak, going back with 14 a equipment. It just it just makes sense. Now I know every time, you know, not every customer can afford it. And depending where you where you live at and the customers you have, you know, as far as um, financially, what they what they're able to do. Not everybody can go in and slap a new, you know, 16 seer equipment every time they need a replacement. It doesn't work that way. I understand that's the real world, but I just don't see how the seer matchup will work in the long run. Or maybe it does work, and I'm just not, you know, I'm just a little confused. But, um, if you guys watching this, uh, drop a comment below, and, um, let me know what your thoughts are. Because, like I said, it's just a little confusing when you see different videos, different guys, good guys that do really good quality work. And now I start to question myself. As if, you know, am I maybe not giving the customer an alternative, you know, a, a, another option as far as getting them some cooling. Just a thought. Again, if you like, drop a comment below and uh, let me know what your thoughts are.